Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior's name we pray. Amen. Amen. To all of you here tonight, um, I want to thank God so much for um, some new friends that I just met, like, just met. Um, and I know I'm going to say the name of the parish wrong, but St. Ben St. Bernard, St. Barnard's, Barnard, St. Barnard, St. Barnard's, and um, I uh, had one message for you tonight, but after conversation, um, God really, as I prayed just a few minutes ago, he, he, um, he reworked some things, and I want y'all to pray with me as I seek to make myself available. Um, if you have your Bibles, 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy, the second chapter. This morning we did the first chapter in our 10 o'clock, and tonight God has the second for us to hear from, and beginning at, and ending at the first verse. It says, You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. I come by here tonight on my way to that new Jerusalem to repeat the words of Paul to his disciple Timothy. Be strong. Be, be strong. Tell your neighbor, be strong. Tell yourself, be strong. This text tonight is not just Paul talking to Timothy. It's not just Paul talking to Timothy. I hold it down. So. It is not just a message of, of a personal conversation between a teacher and a student. But it is God's message to his children. Far too often in our lives, we find so many things, Brother Johnson, that can cause us to become weak. Um, we, have, we have situations, we have trials, we have circumstances. We have this thing called the flesh, Brother McIntosh. This flesh that, that Paul speaks about, that he wrestles with. And, 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 and how, if we're honest, every now and then we become weak. But God wants us to be strong, even in life, even when there are societal systemic oppression mm -hmm. when there are laws meant to make you weak there are laws that were drafted to deprive you of your sense of humanity they said you weren't even human mm -hmm. they said you couldn't even learn how to read yeah. or write or own property ladies Could, couldn't, couldn't have your own bank account couldn't could not go to college. But God has said in his word, be strong. Everything around you is trying to tear you down. The enemy is ever so present. Every time we turn on the TV, there's something that, that, that is trying to make us weak. When I watch TV and I'm trying to get my diet right, when I'm trying to lose a couple of inches around my waist, I see a commercial trying to make me weak, trying to get me to go order a double cheeseburger with extra bacon. I'm trying to stay strong. But there is this temptation that's wrestling with me that makes me want to go to Burger King. 
have in my way and give me a double waffle. Extra bacon and cheese. But 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 we have to learn how to stay strong. Ladies, you know how much money you made in your check. And you did not intend to spend but $25. You intended to go in the mall and find you some nice decorative earrings and walk out. But you messed around went through the mall to get your earrings, but on your way to your earrings, you passed by the shoe section in Macy's. And all of a sudden, you got weak. And that $25 almost turned into $2,500 because you had a credit card. You, you got your credit, you, so you left there in debt and you still didn't get your earrings. Mm -mm. Uh-huh. Because you couldn't find one that you like. Well, you got three pair of shoes and two purses to match the shoes. And you're going to go back and get a third purse to match the other pair of shoes when you find your earrings. Be strong. You in a relationship and you know what the good book says. Wait until marriage. Mm -hmm. And you are being strong. Be strong, be strong. But he said, I just want to come over. There's this new movie mm. on Netflix. Seen it. Um, that Sandra Bullock movie where they walk around blindfolds. Bird box. Bird box. Bird box. That's what it is. And you get a little scared and you say, I want you to hang out just a little while longer because now I'm afraid to hear voices. <laughs> and, he's, and he agrees. Okay. okay, you can stay over. And then after that, after you calm down from the bird box, you start saying, I really must go. And he says, but baby, it's cold outside. Yeah. Y'all remember that song? <laughs> I got to go home, but baby, it's cold outside. I really must go, but baby, it's cold outside. Mm -hmm. I got to go away, but baby, it's cold outside. Yes, it is. I forgot the rest of the words, but you get the point. And before the end of the song, she gets weak. And she says, okay. So what am I saying, preacher? I'm saying that this whole world is designed to make you weak. You, you, you are an oak. God made you. God gives you the ability to be strong. He, you were clay. But he is the potter. And he has molded and shaped you to be strong. But everything outside of you, and even sometimes things inside of you, are trying to make you weak. So God is here encouraging Timothy. Timothy, be strong. And I imagine that Paul also in private conversation to Timothy quoted Isaiah. Because Timothy is like, well, Paul, how can I how can I be strong? Well, Isaiah says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and be not where they shall walk and faint. Now, sin is always in a hurry. Yeah. I just said something. Uh -huh. <laughs> sin is always in a hurry. Lust is always trying to speed you up. Yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go ahead and buy them shoes now, girl. Might as well get them now. You know, you just got paid. You oh, go ahead and get it now. Don't well, you know what? I need to wait and price check. Don't price check. <laughs> get your shoes. They on clearance. Sin is always in a hurry. 
Well, hurry up. I want to wait to marriage. Why? Let's hurry up. Mm. We may die tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I know ain't the only one that's there. <laughs> you know, yeah, you only live once. Sin is always trying to speed you up. But God says, wait. Wait on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Don't take matters into your own hands. I thank God that we are the only thing that survived the massacre. We have waited. Yeah. It could have been a lot easier for the brethren of the church to go down to South Tulsa and enact vengeance yeah. on folk who came over here and blew up our homes. Yeah. But we are waiting yeah. on the Lord. And and, 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 and and that is where our strength mm -hmm. comes from. Yes. But we're not just passively waiting because Paul says, and I'm wrapping it up, Paul says to be strong in the grace. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Be strong with his grace, this unmerited favor, this divine help, this this help that gives us confidence. This help that gives us boldness. We, we, we can be strong in grace. You are not strong. I like to go to the gym. I, I can tell some of you go to the gym. I can tell some of you don't go to the gym. But I can tell a lot of you <laughs> go to the gym. And, and, and about going to the gym, you exercise your muscles. And, and, and you can feel as though you're physically strong but this is not the strength in which God wants us to stay strong in he wants us to stay strong in his grace he wants us to stay strong in his unmerited favor for as he told Paul to tell us in 2 Corinthians he says my grace is sufficient for you for my strength is made perfect mm -hmm. in weakness. Right. Therefore, I, 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 I boast, he says, about my infirmities. For when I am weak, that is when I am strong. Nothing but the grace of God. So I'm not strong because I'm the preacher. You're not strong because you're a member of Vernon. You, you, you are strong by God's grace Amen. that keeps you from doing the things you really probably want to do. Yeah. You really want to buy those shoes. You, so we shouldn't talk about our sister cousin them that, that has an indebtedness overdrawn Macy's card, got an overdrawn Belk's card, has an overdrawn Saks card, because but by the grace of God, that go out. We could be in prison for some of the things we thought about doing. Have mercy, Lord. Or maybe I'm talking about myself. I could be in prison, Sister Stacy, for some of the things I thought about doing, but by God's grace, Thank you, God. He kept me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even when I didn't want to keep myself. That's why he says his grace is sufficient. Right. It, it is enough for his strength is made perfect. His strength is made complete. That's what the perfect means truly in the Greek. Complete. It, it, it means that, 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 that God sees our weakness and he applies his grace. And that makes his strength complete. Yeah. My strength is made perfect in weakness. See, if you were strong, really, you wouldn't need God. Mm. So when the preacher says, when the word of God says, be strong, it's literally me and be in God because you cannot be strong outside of God. Yes, yes. Some of you have tried to be strong. Mm -hmm. You've tried to kick habits. Mm -hmm. 
on your own. You tried to stop getting high on your own. You tried to stop getting drunk on your own. You tried to leave him alone on your own. And you always kept going back. But that's why God says, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. The grace that can allow you to endure the massacre of 1921. The grace that can allow you to sit at lunch counters and folks putting cigarette butts out on the back of your neck. The grace that can allow you to have people pour milkshakes on your hair. And your nice Sunday best. The grace that can allow you today to have an overpass right through the heart at, through what was the most vibrant area in Oklahoma. One of the most in the world, Black Wall Street. Nothing but God's grace that holds that anger and that righteous indignation from becoming violent. Only that grace allowed a preacher, a pastor in the city where I'm from, Alabama, named Martin Luther King, to march from Selma to Montgomery. Before there was a lift art Uber. Mm, yeah. They marched from Selma to Montgomery in fear of police brutality, but only by God's grace did another AME, Rosa Parks, say, I'm not giving up my seat. I'm tired. <coughs> only by God's grace are we able to celebrate this Black History Month and still sing, lift every voice and sing. Till earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmony of liberty. Let our rejoicing sound loud. Because, see, the thing about it is when, when the people of the world think it's strong, are actually weak. And the folk of the world think are weak are actually the strongest in the world. Mm. Of all the great skyscrapers in Tulsa, none of them survived. And none of them were here to survive the massacre. Mm. But probably the smallest, lowest building in the city. Mm. Not only survived, but now is holding up a sanctuary. Tell me God won't take the stone the builders rejected yeah. and make it the chief cornerstone. So even when folk don't recognize you, even when people are, are lambasting you and putting you down and putting pressure on you, your supervisors putting pressure on you, your, your family, your friends are, are always questioning you and you trying to live right. Why are you in church on a Sunday night? Be strong. I'm trying to live right. Be strong. The world won't understand you. Your Facebook or social media or Instagram or Twitter friends won't like your posts, but be strong. Your doctor may not be spiritual. He doesn't understand when you say God has already healed me, but you be strong anyway. The judge doesn't want to hear your testimony. But be strong, remembering that greater is he that is in ye than he that is in the world. I don't know what God has you going through right now. I don't know how hard your situation is, but I do know it is hard. But God wants you to be strong. And oftentimes, even when you pray for it to be removed, God lets that Stay there.
because he's trying to give you a physical workout. See, you are stronger than you realize. Lord, I don't want to go through chemo. Lord, I don't want to have to take these pills. Lord, I don't want to have to be lonely. But God is like, I know you are stronger than you think you are. I could remove this obstacle, but if I did, you wouldn't know how strong you were either. Right, yeah. If I just took every rainy day away from you, if I just took every heartache away from you, you wouldn't know how strong you are. Because I want you to see that my strength is made perfect in your weakness. That means that when you are weak, God makes you strong. And so you can smile when everybody else thinks you ought to have lost your mind. You can sing songs of joy when people are like, but they're going through foreclosure. You can still say God is good in the midst of a divorce. You can shout glory, hallelujah, after your children have been stricken with the illness. And folk wonder, what is wrong with you? And you have that Job type of faith. Yea, though he slay me, Yet, will I trust him? Let us pray. Dear God, our holy and heavenly Father, we, your children, throughout life, we become weak, we become worn, we become wounded. But God, you make us strong. You've made this church strong. You've made your people strong. God, I pray that if there be anyone here tonight, who is feeling weak, who is feeling worried, who is feeling wounded or weary, that you touch their hearts, that you bring them closer to you by your grace. Show them just how strong they are in Christ Jesus, who humbled himself and became man. He bled, he suffered, he died. In the world's eyes, he was weak. But you lifted him up and on Sunday morning rose him from the grave. That's why you gave him a name that's above every name. And at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that he is Lord. And so God, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we pray that you allow whomever it is that yields to you tonight to come. Say, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. I want you to come into my life. I want you to make me strong. I've tried on my own. I want to join this church. I, want, I just need some prayer. God's church is open for you. Won't you come?